In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most controversial metas of all time in Valorant, and it's all centered around this one character that is Astra. Specifically, we've had streamers, content creators, and even pros coming out against Astra, talking negatively about what Astra does to the pro meta, to the ranked meta, and to the game as a whole. But right now, the easiest way to climb to Diamond, Immortal, or even Radiant is with our brand new Get Good special that is going to allow you to get access to all the in-depth map guides, agent core courses and VAR reviews that you need to climb at a fraction of the cost. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity before it leaves to dominate the ladder so, so easily. Go check it out right now down below. But to lay it out really simply, why Astra is so good, not only can she fulfill the primary roles of a controller, which is smoke off key choke points and key sightlines by the enemy, whether you're on defense trying to stall or on attack trying to push, she does that job and she does it well. However, it's the addition of her utility-based kit. Having stars that are not interactable by anything the enemy can do outside of them getting a lucky KO knife on the Astra herself, after she smokes off a choke, which already causes delay, good Astros can respond to any sort of utility-based push with concussions or sucks, allowing her to potentially stop a push in its tracks, either splitting a team apart or even getting free kills and value as enemies enter. This means that if an enemy actually wants to push a site that Astra is actively locking down, they need to bait out a lot of her utility. But if you think about how much utility Astra has, it's immense. And oftentimes, a really good discipline Astra will not invest any of their utility until enemies have also invested theirs. Now, this creates a situation where to properly play against Astra, you have to play incredibly slowly and bait out every single bit of her utility and then even if you do all this correctly you're going to have to trade quite a bit of resources just to bait those abilities out in the first place so best case scenario you trade properly for astra's utility but it's not a really fair rate exchange when you're trading multiple abilities on multiple agents for just abilities on only astra and then you push onto site after a lot of time has been wasted but if you telegraph this too much enemies have already rotated and it can create some rather stale moments in pro play from a spectator's point of view and from ranked play it can be really frustrating playing against an astra where the game can be kind of grinded to a standstill feel incredibly stale not action packed and if you ever try to rush your engagements you're going to get instantly punished so TLDR, Astra can create much slower games with a lot more default play, a lot more rotation and baiting out utility, and it also pushes the game in a direction less centered around gunplay and more centered around ability use. So the combination of taking the mechanical aspect away from the game slightly and adding the power level to abilities and the combination of creating a much more static based meta, a slower meta, means that many people dislike Astra. But I have to be fair here, it's not all negative. And let me talk about some of the positives of an Astra meta. I think the biggest one is that it creates smarter engagements and pro play looks smarter. And you might be wondering, what the hell do I mean by smarter pro play well if you don't remember the classic smorg play style of phase clan before they more or less disbanded you would know that they were heavily rewarded for a while by playing a very aggressive base play style all about momentum all about mechanical skill and really trying to overwhelm the enemy and while that was definitely cool to watch for a while it felt like the pro meta was a little bit brain dead for lack of a better term and i guess i would best describe it as all aim no brain rather than all brain no aim which i think that a happy medium is a little bit better than extremes on both sides now, it's going to be your own personal opinion whether or not you think that the Astra meta is actually something that creates that more intelligent strategic style of play. And I'm sure that there's more metas that could exist that would supercharge ability use decision making to the point where that matters far more, even more than now, than mechanical skill. But I think that there's a balance to be met. You don't want mechanical skill to take a complete backseat. We've seen this before in other games, most notably Overwatch, where they had a quote-unquote GOATS meta, all tanks, all supports. Basically, a meta completely centering around proper ability use and ability use timing and efficiency, rather than 
the actual raw mechanical skill and I think it contributed to a huge downturn of that game and we don't want to see that for the long term in Valorant even if I don't think that Astromata comes anywhere close to that. Now while I can understand it can be really frustrating to deal with really good Astras in pro meta, it can also be just frustrating to deal with Astras in general when we talk about ranked. When playing smart as a team doesn't happen all that often. You'll have teammates that just, you know, play or int into Astra utility. You'll have Astras that get a ton of free value. However, I also think that if the Astra is actually not very good, there's a ton of gaps to exploit. And specifically, one of the best characters in the meta in the game, period, is Jet, and she's one of those characters that can really keep Astros on their toes because she can just dash through these choke points using her smoke to create space, forcing that Astro to be stuck in a situation where she wants to not only activate her utility to stop the other allies from pushing through smoke or pushing through that choke point, but she also has to challenge and duel that jet in a potential 1v1 as well. So the situations that you could put that Astra in that forces that Astra to either rise above and beyond as far as mechanical skill and decision making at the same time, or realistically, you're going to be able to open up that point and a lot of engagement presence and space for your team, assuming that your jet is actually engaging properly and creating space on point with an aggressive dash. Now, Astro alone already causes quite a bit of problems, but when she's paired with Viper specifically, I think that the amount of utility use could be very frustrating to grind through. And this is actually becoming very common in pro play and high ranked play where teams will actually run both Viper and Astra on certain maps and specifically choke points trying to push through them when they have potentially five stars, a repeatable smoke from Viper and two snake bites. It can be incredibly annoying to try to play around or bait through all of this utility over and over and over again. It can feel like an absolute slog like every single round you have to grind through like a giant laundry list of utility before you even have a chance to push through. Plus, you have to time things right because Viper keeps getting her smoke over and over again. And that's only two characters on the enemy team. And there's a number of different characters that can also have some sort of stall ability, some sort of AoE, or they could just use the Viper's smoke, the screen, to retake point after you and your team exhausted all of your utility just baiting out all of the enemies Astra and Viper utility to start with. Well, I don't think that this meta is actually that bad all in all. I do see the way in which Valor is going could become worse with time, specifically with the increase in utility-based metas and the power level of abilities that are being introduced in the game. We could create a situation where the game feels very slow, grindy, stale to play, mechanical skill matters less and less, and that is definitely one of the fears, right? Because when we think about Valorant, when you compare it to its direct competitor, which is Counter-Strike, well, there is a lot of guns in Counter-Strike, and there are something that would be kind of like abilities in grenades. Those things are static, and they don't just keep changing and growing and become more and more impactful, but as the roster of characters expand in Valorant, and there is more emphasis on adding characters that have more impactful abilities, rather than just having abilities that really don't matter or are minuscule or just are a slight aid to gunplay, they actually dictate fights altogether, I can see a time when we look back on the Astro meta and say, no, that was actually a great meta, but this meta that we're in right now is absolutely atrocious, and it's because we have to stand at a choke for freaking 45 seconds, then rotate to another choke to stand there. I mean, imagine a situation where it's realistic to play three characters on a team that all have the same level of utility stall as Astra does. I think that's a legitimate fear, but I do not think that we're even close to that yet, and I understand all the complaints about the Astro meta, and I do think that... Small nerfs to the characters would be fine, but I don't necessarily think that you should go so far as to dramatically just delete the characters from the pro scene, delete the characters from the top of the pick rate, or some even crazier suggestions like rework the characters as a whole. All in all, I think the meta is actually not that bad, and for the majority of players, there's a lot of flexibility within the meta to play what you prefer or the playstyle that you prefer. But definitely let me know what you think about the Astra slash Viper slash Slova meta down below. How do you feel about it? Are you getting tired and sick of it? Do you not really feel like it's that big of a deal? Or do you really love the meta? I really want to know what you would do if you had the power 
to dictate the meta and I really want to know your opinion about it right now. But while you're there, the brand new Valorant sale is the best way to easily climb to Diamond, Immortal, and even Radiant like many in our community have already done. Do yourself a favor and access all the in-depth VOD reviews and guides over every single map and agent and check it out right now down below.